dropping to the same as the to explain. Fly with me, won't you? Peace. What's good, guys? How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. NXT last night was pretty decent. It focused on Mandy Rose and Kaylee Ray, as well as the Dusty Rhodes Classic Finals. I mean, semifinals, my bad. <laughs> I apologize for that. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. So we kick the show off with the um, first semi-final match. The Creed Brothers versus the Grizzle Young Veterans. It was a pretty okay match in the end. The Creed Brothers win, which is great because I'm super high on those guys. They're awesome as fuck. And they were baby faces, which is kind of cool. So that's interesting to see. Um, it was a good match, though. Next, uh, we had an interview by Mackenzie Mitchell. She interviewed Cora Jade. She cut a promo. Uh, Gonzalez, she, she comes out. Uh, and then um, Valentina, Barraza, and uh, Yulisa uh, Leon, they come in. They both cut Spanish. Talk a bunch of shit, and that was it. So, like, what the fuck? Like, I hate when they do dumb, dumb, stupid segments like that. Um, then we see a recap of what happened to w Wendy Chu last week. Then um, we have a match, Wendy Chu versus Tiffany Stratton. Stratton wins via a cork, a springboard corkscrew splash for the win. It looked really badass, in my opinion. Moving on, we have Pete Dunn versus Draco Anthony. He suffered his second loss, but before the match, um, we got an interview involving Pete Dunn. He put it, cut a pretty good little promo, and uh, that was that. Um, and then also, uh, Harland and Joe Gacy... Um, they were talking to Anthony, I mean, Draco Anthony, and, uh, they said, you know, we're always here for you if you need us. So that's kind of interesting there. Pretty cool shit. Uh, Pete Dunn wins via the bitter end. Tony D'Angelo tries to get involved. And then Pete Dunn. Brings out a shit ton of weapons and says it's going to be a steel cage with a bunch of hardcore shit happening. So I'm like, what the fuck? So it's going to be a bunch of, you know, hardcore shit. So, yeah. Then we had LA Knight versus Sangha. LA Knight wins. And then, um, Grayson Waller's like, look, next week, LA Knight's going to get arrested. So I'm like, oh shit, that's some crazy shit. Um, but I'm loving this feud. And um, we got a backstage interview involving Duke Hudson. Talked about Dante Chin. And so those two should be set to face one another. Probably, I would imagine, in the next, in the next couple of weeks. Maybe at um, Benton today, next week. It's kind of weird that the uh, that NXT 2.0 is on uh, sci-fi. I do think that the ratings will probably suffer. Uh, Raw suffered bad. It got, got like a 1.3 something. So I'm like, holy shit, that's crazy. So NXT probably will get maybe about a good 5 something. Maybe like 580 something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Next, we had a really good segment involving um, Santos Escobar and Braun Breaker. Really fucking good segment. Out comes Dolph Ziggler. Gets a really good pop. Gets a couple of ho uh, holy shit chants. Uh, and then out comes Tommaso Ciampa. Everybody was chanting like when Ziggler first ch ch uh, came out, it was like a they were chanting a triple triple threat. 
Then when Champa came out, Fatal 4-Way. So it's kind of interesting to see where this goes. I'm glad that... Um, I'm glad that this is happening with Breaker. Uh, you know, it's great. And people need, people need to realize that NXT has always incorporated uh, talent from the main roster. It's always been a good thing. So it's interesting to see where it goes. We all know that Escobar is going to suffer a loss. And I do think um, he'll be on the main roster in due time. The same thing with Tommaso Ciampa. And I believe that that's what Ziggler was trying to say in, in his promo. Because Tommaso's been there for, what, five years? It's time for him to be on the main roster. So, yeah. Um, what else happened on this show? Oh, yeah. Then we had... Hold on. Let me continue to scroll down. What else happened on this show? Fuck. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, then uh, LA, I mean, not LA Knight, uh, Grayson Waller, he uh, he's exiting the arena with um, Sangha, and he cuts a promo saying that he's going to arrest LA Knight next week. He calls him a son of a bitch. Then we have um, Saray versus Dakota Kai. Um... Zaray wins, so she went with the sleeper suplex for the win. And then um, we get a recap of Trick Williams and Carmella Hayes. Um, then we get some backstage segments involving Andy Hartwell with Dexter Loomis. Um, then we get another promo, uh, I mean, another vignette. By uh, Nikita Lyons, so it's interesting to see. Then we get our second. I mean, then we get our second. That's the classic semifinal: MSK versus Malik Blade and um, Edris Enough and MSK to advance. So this is going to be interesting. Baby versus Babyface. I do think that the Creed brothers might turn heel. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe MSK. Then the main event. Um, Kelly Ray versus Mandy Rose for the NXT Women's Championship. Before the match, um, um, before the match, Gigi, they were brawling with uh, Parada and Hartwell. But this was a pretty good match. In the end, Mandy retains um, via... Hold on. Let me see how she retains. Hold on. Anyway, she wins. She wins with the... Um, shit. Well, in, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. She just wins. And... Um, he went with the involvement of Cora Jade. I mean, no, not Cora Jade. Fuck. Uh, she wins via Gigi Dolan and Daisy Jane getting involved. And then Io Tarai comes out to make the save. And we get uh, NXT chance. And that was that. So it was a pretty good show. Mandy Rose stands tall. She's still the NXT Women's Champion. I like that. I'm, I'm actually glad... As to where NXT is going. I'm glad that Ziggler made his debut down there. I mean, made his uh, presence known down there. So it, it's interesting. We might, could very well see Asuka maybe down there. You never know. Well, I wouldn't be shocked. So, yeah. You know, maybe in the future we see Mandy Rose versus Asuka. You never know. It could happen. So I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe for my videos. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Deuces.